of speed, style, and beauty. The cars all belong to one man, Ralph Lauren. We could, for this exhibition, have chosen any great car collection in the world. But I think it's fascinating to look at uh, a collection that was put together by someone who is one of the world's great designers and style creators of our time. The exhibit is a showcase of the best of Ralph Lauren's collection. Cars that transcend time. Designs that make them not just automobiles, but moving sculpture. 16 cars have been selected for the exhibit. Thanks. Choosing them, though, is just the beginning. We're up on the second floor of the museum, so one of the things that had to be done was, how do we get them up to the second floor? We do have a freight elevator. Um, it's about 14 foot two, and three of the cars fortunately did fit in that freight elevator, but we knew the rest weren't going to, and there's gonna have to be some creative way to get them up here. The solution, a two-story high scaffolding. Pulleys and chains fueled by brute strength work in concert to lift the 3,000 pound cars up to the gallery. The work proceeds slowly and carefully. Each car handled with the same care, given great artwork. And even at this early stage, it is becoming clear that the exhibit will live up to its name. Speed, style, and beauty. I think it sums up the extraordinary glamour of these objects. They're beautiful. They're about design. They're about craftsmanship. They're about carefully chosen materials. They're objects of great beauty and imagination. Automobiles have always been a part of Ralph Lauren's life. Born in 1939 in the New York City borough of the Bronx, Lauren is the youngest of three brothers, and cars were a love from day one. I remember sitting on a corner with my brother and friends, and as cars drove by, we'd know every car that drove by. So cars were always part of my life. As the boy became a man, automobiles remained part of his business. Polo fashion, which he started with a $50,000 loan in 1967, selling ties from the back of his car. Lauren's brand grew, and so did the collection. Menswear, then elegant women's wear, children's clothing, a home collection, all sold under his name. And as his company grew, so did his automobile collection. A passion that continues today. At his home north of New York City, Ralph Lauren is seeing his new car for the first time. It is the McLaren F1 LM, one of just five ever built. It is beautiful. This is what I remember. When Ralph Lauren first came to see about buying McLaren, he turned up at the factory, and uh, I immediately sort of, I think, formed a rapport with him. The reasons he wanted to buy the McLaren were for all the right reasons. The style, the feel, the handmade quality, the attention to detail, all that sort of stuff. Assembled by hand, the F1 brings race car technology to the road. When we started the F1 car program, it sounds a bit sort of big-headed as a goal, but what we set out to do was try and build the best driver's sports car in the world. The F1 is revolutionary. Just like a Formula One race car, the driver sits in the center and is flanked by his passengers. The car's body is made entirely out of carbon fiber a light, durable material that helps make it one of the fastest cars on the road with a top speed of 225 miles per hour. And although the price is $4 million, like any great piece of industrial design, its beautiful form is driven by a primary function, speed. 
I think all the cars that I've ever been attracted to have had a functional purpose. You know, in designing, I've always loved functional clothes. I've loved hunting clothes and horseback riding clothes and ski parkers and things that were made to function a certain way. To me, there's a beauty in that utility, and the cars have that same sensibility. But I think the key is that things work. Beauty, elegance, performance, function. The guiding principles Ralph Lauren looks for in each of his cars. And no car embodies these qualities more than a recent addition to the collection. Ralph Lauren's 1938 Alfa Romeo 8C2900 is the first of just four built specifically for one of Italy's most grueling races, the thousand mile Mille Miglia. One of the greatest and most charismatic road races of all time was the Italian Mille Miglia. Thousand miles, one hit, one lap, public roads from Brescia in the north, round the leg of Italy, up through Rome, back to Bologna, back to Brescia. The Alpha represented a huge leap forward in body design, thanks to a patented engineering advance called Super Leggera, or Super Light, a technique using small steel tubes to support the car's aluminum body, allowing the design and construction of shapes more rounded and aerodynamic than had been previously seen. And with those rounded shapes came speed. The 1938 Alfa 8C is just absolutely a most amazing machine. You've got this Alfa Romeo works racing car, which will do 125, 130 miles per hour virtually all day long, which accelerates like a rocket ship. The guys that drove those cars were regarded in period as just being the men from Mars. The Alfa would come up short in its bid to win the Mille Miglia, after leading most of the race, brake problems arose, and the team finished second. For its one-of-a-kind beauty, the car has been selected for the exhibit at the Museum of Fine Arts. But before it can take its place next to the great icons of art, the Alpha faces a full restoration. It is a final race for the legendary car. At a workshop in Essex, Massachusetts, the pressure is on a team led by Paul Russell to complete the restoration, hopefully in time for the opening of the exhibit. Ralph Lauren has set the tone for the meticulous restoration, which began not with a torture wrench, but with research. We've been hitting the research hard on this car for almost two years. We've had to do a great deal of studying on uh, original pictures, and fortunately there was a lot of close-ups, a lot of different angles. The process began by fully stripping down the aluminum body and steel chassis, rebuilding the Alpha from the ground up. Now the team is racing to completion, all the while remaining true to the original details of the car. But with the installation at the Museum of Fine Arts underway, the clock is ticking for Paul Russell and his team to finish the restoration in time. Ralph Lauren renowned American designer and prolific classic car owner, is preparing a new fashion collection. Each season, the designer debuts a new style, drawing on inspiration to set a new trend. And this season, Lauren's inspiration comes from his automobile collection. Cars pick up ideas from the fashion industry, and the fashion industry picks up ideas from the automobile world, so there's an interchange. I have always admired timelessness. And some of the cars that I've started to collect have that message of timeless beauty. You don't know what period they're in. And in this collection, I was inspired by their modernness and their antiqueness at the same time. He casts a movie when he's creating a collection. So he always has to come up with an idea of who this woman is and the world that she lives in and the car that she drives. He's about style, not fashion. He's about things that have character and that 
endure. And so his cars 